Juniper Gets Wet. Story by Bart King. Illustrated by Jacob Winston. It had been raining for weeks, maybe months, maybe even years. The books had been all read and reread. The games had all been played and played again. The forts had been built and abandoned. Juniper's brothers and sisters were done. Their imaginations had been spent completely. All they could do was watch the rain fall steadily from the gray, gray sky. But not Juniper. I'm going outside, she said. What are you going to do, Joy mumbled. You'll get all wet, Annie whined. Juniper ignored them. She put on her rain boots, walked out the front door, and opened her umbrella. But she didn't use it. Instead, she looked up and watched hundreds and thousands of raindrops falling all around her. Soon, she was completely soaked, but it felt good. Next, she gathered rocks, lots of rocks, and put them in the water running through the gutter at the edge of the street. The water soon backed into a puddle, and the puddle spread into a pond, and the pond grew into a lake. Then she went into the woods to build a boat. When the water rose to the top of the tallest trees, Juniper hoisted the canvas and sailed away. She sailed through small towns and between the tallest buildings in the biggest cities. But when the water was all she could see in every direction, the wind fell away and she was stuck. Fortunately, she had brought along some snacks. Birds love crackers with peanut butter, and soon Juniper had lots of new friends. After everyone had eaten a share, the birds were happy to help her on her way. Soon, Juniper landed on a tropical island. She waved goodbye to the birds, gathered her things, and set off on a long, rugged hike. She trekked through a lush jungle, crossed a swiftly flowing river, and traversed a high ridge to reach a beautiful mountaintop castle. When Juniper arrived, the princess greeted her in grand fashion. Welcome! You're the first visitor we've had in many years! Juniper offered her a lollipop from her backpack and they became great friends. The princess let Juniper choose a special gift from the castle's Room of Wonders. When she finally returned to her boat, the moon was coming up, but Juniper wasn't tired. She tucked the gift into her pocket, set course by the stars, and sailed through the night. As the sun came up, she saw that her journey was almost over. She dove down beneath the boat, through the trees, and past the window, where she could see her brothers and sisters still slouched in front of the television. They perked up when she splashed into the room and pulled the gift from her wet pocket. Where'd you get that, they all asked. Come on, Juniper said, I'll show you. Prepare the submarine for the scent! Juniper ordered her new crew. Aye, aye, Captain! They all shouted, and they were on their way. That night, before crawling into her warm, dry bed, Juniper placed the tiny, plastic gift on her dresser. As she listened to the rain falling on the roof and the sound of her brothers and sisters sleeping, she wondered what adventure would they dream up next? The end.